Hi there, and welcome back to Simon Says. My name's Simon, and today we're talking about cameras. Now, I've had some really good experiences and some really poor experiences with integration of cameras into Home Assistant. So if I go to the top of the level, I'm using Unify cameras at work. We've got three of them, incredible. I'm gonna show you in my next video how I actually use one of those cameras to count the number of people coming into my building. At the other end, we've got the real basic cameras like the SwitchBot one that I um, reviewed the other day, which you can't even get into Home Assistant. And then there's a sweet spot somewhere in the middle of those two cameras. And that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about today, which is this RioLink camera. So we're gonna talk about this camera. I'm gonna show you a bit about it, what I like about it, and some of the challenges I've had with the Home Assistant integration. So in the box with this camera, we get our power supply brick. So pretty standard. I've got the New Zealand adapt on it here. We then get a five meter extension cable for the power. So that's really useful for basically allowing you to install it at a reasonable distance away from wherever your power supply is. Now, if we look at the device itself, um, as you can see, reasonable size camera and it has been really nicely designed. Um, it feels quite heavy and it feels like really good quality. We have two big Wi-Fi antennas, so I'm assuming that this will give us a really good range, allowing us to install this camera quite a long way away from our Wi-Fi system. Um, along with that, we have a mounting bracket, so that can be mounted against the wall and adjusted and then if we look at these cables over here we have our ethernet so it can be run with power of ethernet or we've got our power supply and then we've got this which is our reset button so if we look at the camera um, looking over there it's got a whole lot of infrared leds for the nighttime vision um, and it's got a little bit of a shade there for uh, stopping the sun affecting it too much Really nice quality camera once again, as I say, made out of metal and feels really good. At the back here, we've got our um, SD card, so we can open that up and put a SD card in there for uh, storage within the camera. Um, so yeah, this is IP67, I think it is rated. So it is full outdoor um, weather rated and can even withstand um, if you're getting sprays of water from uh, when you're cleaning the house, etc. So to add your real link camera in Home Assistant using the official Home Assistant integration, we go to Settings, Device and Services, Add Integration, and we search for real link. Now I'm going to select the real link IP camera because I don't have the NVR system installed here. So the host, this is my local IP address for the camera, 192.168.178.129 and the way that I found that was I just went over to my um, app and I selected the camera and the network settings and I found the IP address there. So once you've put that in, leave the port there as it is, 443, um, and then put in the password that you created for the camera. Once you've done that, we just go submit and your IP camera will then be loaded up. There we go. So we'll just select this in the living room and finish. So if we scroll down here, we should be able to find our rear link camera. There it is. So we'll now go into that. Okay, so as you can see, there is our camera stream, which is coming through there. And we also have options showing our detection. So these are unavailable at the moment. Um, I will just do a little bit of research to find out why that is. So once we've got the camera all up and running in Home Assistant, there we can see our stream. And as you can see, it is streaming there for me. And we've got a pretty good picture there. You can see down my driveway and it's live streaming. Now, for some reason or other, the Home Assistant integration is streaming live now but when I first installed it it wouldn't stream 
when it brought up this uh, live feed, it would just basically sit there and it wouldn't actually be live. Just give me a still image and it would just refresh to the latest image each time. Now, I'm not sure why it wasn't working and why it is working now. I don't know if it was to do with the latest um, upgraded version of the Home Assistant. But anyway, it seems to work now. Let's hope it keeps going. But as you can see, great picture. Um, the other problem that I have is for some reason or other, I can't get these person and pet and vehicle detection um, items pulling through from the camera into Home Assistant. So they work fine on the camera itself, but for some reason or other, those bullions don't seem to be pulling into Home Assistant. And I'll show you with the Unify cameras how those pull through quite well and how I'm using that person detection for actually counting people entering into my building. So anyway, that's all for now. As I say, on the whole, I would say this is a great camera, reasonably affordable. The, uh, the Wi-Fi range is really good. The, um, the camera generally well built, integrates well into Home Assistant, but there are these one or two concerns that I had about it. But that's all for now. Next time I'll show the Unify cameras. Bye then.